Hey guys, so we finally decided to hit the road to Goa. We are somewhere near Nelamangalam now. It's probably around a 10 hour drive from here. And uh, yeah, I'm with Vedri and Hi. the so called uh, <laughs> IT professionalist who's so attending okay. class. Yeah. So, guys, since I'm already on the road, I thought I'll share a few tips up with you guys about um, what are the things you need to do, especially for, I mean, concerning your dog before you start traveling. So, the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the fact that not all dogs really enjoy traveling. Some dogs don't. Some dogs do get motion sickness while traveling. In my case, Vetri did have motion sickness initially. So, I would suggest you guys to, you know, start taking your dog on short trips or short drives before you actually start traveling, at least a week before you start traveling. This will really help your dog in getting used to staying in the car while traveling and it will avoid motion sickness. And another thing I'd like to say is, Especially for first timers, I think it would be a good idea if you guys can, you know, take your dog on a journey on an empty stomach and this will really avoid your dog from throwing up in the car because already with motion sickness, they might be a little traumatized. So yeah, traveling on an empty stomach as well as getting your dog into a routine of traveling, I mean, going on short drives. Is something that I wanted to say. So it's our second stop at CCD. So another thing I wanted to tell you guys is it's very important to stop on the way and give your dogs a breather so that they can relax and get back on the journey again. Hi Thor. Let me introduce Thor to you guys. Thor, come here. So this is Thor and as you can see Vetri is behind and Vetri is with Bowen. Both of them are enjoying the trip. Okay guys, so we just crossed Darwad and it's pretty hot in here the temperature is around 31 degrees celsius as you can see Vetri is panting badly it's pretty hot for him compared to the weather in Bangalore so yeah we're all trying to get used to this weather as you can see because I am tired I have given the wheel to Mr. Bond Bowen I just thought I'll show you guys how beautiful the road we're traveling in is Uh, guess I spoke too early The road is really bad And uh, Again when I said Bond Bowen was really lucky I again was too early I guess uh, Bond Bowen is very unlucky <laughs> You can Never see that Never go up by this road <laughs> The worst road you'll ever drive in So guys we finally reached Goa We are staying in this place named White Castle near Anjuna Beach it's a really beautiful place, so I thought I, you guys should see it. So it's time to take you guys on a tour of the place we're staying in. As you can see guys, Vetri's found new friends. They live right next to our villa. They also have German Shepherds. Meet Madaniya and Bobo. They're slowly getting along. I think it's just a matter of time before these guys become good friends and start running around all over the place. Okay guys, it's finally day one and we're off to Morjim Beach. It is basically a beach where there is less crowd so that these dogs can run around peacefully. So it's their first time at the beach. They're gonna be really happy. They're gonna enjoy. I'm very excited for them. So let's go there and let's see how it goes.
So we are finally here to do some water sports. So I am ready, I am very excited. This is not my first time, still I am excited. I am actually excited for Bond Bhuvan. It's Bond Bhuvan's first time into the sea and he's super scared. So I am going to show you all of that fun and action right now. Stay tuned guys. Okay guys, you probably can't hear me, we are in Baga beach right now, this is my most favorite beach in Goa. So they've all come here for dinner, we're planning to come here again tomorrow, so yeah, I'm with, like you guys already know, I'm with Mr. Bond Bhuvan who can't, you can't see him, Mr. Neeraj and Rob. Okay guys, we're heading back to Bangalore and once again we're stuck in harsh roads. Last time we came through some other route which was bad so we decided to come through this route where you pass through Chorla Ghats. This is Chorla Ghats. The view is amazing but the road is bad. Uh, yeah, it's like this basically. So, we are going up to see if the road continues to be like this. So we got to take a detour otherwise. But yeah, that's the scene for now.